Northeast Wisconsin. Uh, history is kind of long and quirky, but uh, my mom and dad purchased this farm in 1966. Both of my grandparents uh, on my mom's side and my dad's side farmed. Uh, however, they weren't ready to transition it yet, so mom and dad found this place. In 66, in 1969, the barn burnt and they rebuilt the old the tie stall barn that's up on top of the hill. Milked in there until 2007 uh, when this new facility was built uh, where we converted from a tie stall barn to uh, a 500 stall cross vent barn with a double 16 parallel parlor and have uh, grown it here and there from there but for the most part with this was built in 2007 our very first milking was 2000 uh, january 2nd 2008 and uh, we've been steadily improving through efficiency since then and um, brought us to where we are today what issues were you having with your barn before the update uh so like i said this barn was built in 2007 in uh, wisconsin cross fence were a very new concept uh, we had gone to South Dakota to look at some barns. Other than that, there was only uh, one other one with cows in it here in Wisconsin, so we were still learning. Uh, so what we were having, the issue we were having, the biggest issue we were having is all of our cold air being taken in over by our dry cows and our prefresh, which don't create a lot of heat versus, say, a milk cow. So we were having some frozen stalls over on the... Um, by the air intake by the curtains so what the chimneys have allowed us to do is introduce cold air into the middle of the barn which has kept air quality good over by those dry cows and prefresh but has also uh, prevented the stall freeze ups and also created a little bit more airflow through the barn throughout the winter and in the cold months how did you come across the current solution and what did you do uh, so I was fortunate enough to be invited to a meeting down in Florida in the, uh, we'll call it early spring of 2021, where I was introduced to a variety of companies. Sunworth was one of them. And we started talking about barn designs and, and different options and tools that are available to remedy some of these problems uh, or issues we were having here at the farm. So that's where I met up with uh, the Sun North crew. And then from there, I got in touch with my local contractor that was a dealer. And they gave me a bid and a price and they did the work for me and had it all installed and done. Are you happy with the solution that we came up with? Yes, uh, granted it's only been about a year or nine months, but uh, through our first winter, which was the biggest issue we were having, or one of the biggest issue we wanted to solve was a winter issue and and through this first winter it definitely made a difference for air quality and stall quality uh, on our intake side so yes i would say the solution i'm very happy with how things turned out would you recommend using chimneys as inlets to other farmers with cross vent barns uh, absolutely as these barns get bigger and wider and more cows i believe you have some channeling of air, you can have some dead spots, you can have too cold on one side, too warm on another side, you can have some air quality issues. So the use of chimneys to introduce fresh air throughout the air intake area of your barn, uh, to me provides uh, a depth of assets, both for people and for cows.